Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my Platinum Trophy Guide for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. If you're looking for a beginner's guide to Breakpoint, I have you covered. You can find both of them linked in the description below. This video is going to be split into two parts. The first part will be an overview of everything you can expect when going for the Platinum in this game. A sort of roadmap if you like. The second part is going to be a more casual look at each trophy individually. I'll fully go through my own trophy list and explain when and how you can expect to unlock each trophy. This video is obviously pertinent to Achievement Hunters as well, just to omit the Platinum Trophy. I will just mention that the second part of this video will have spoilers as I will be going through each trophy individually, which includes the story ones. I won't go into great detail when it comes to the story ones, but just the title and description is enough to spoil certain things. This first part, the roadmap, you're fine, I'm not going to spoil anything here. So first off, as I'm recording this, I don't have the Platinum yet. Nobody in the world does. This is because of one trophy, Belly of the Beast. To get this one, you need to enter the raid. Unfortunately, the raids haven't been added to the game yet. I'm more than confident in saying that all you'll need to do to get this one is as the trophy description says, enter the raid. Not complete it or anything, just enter it. So as soon as it's in the game, we'll all be able to join it and get the Platinum. If you're watching this in the future, you can just ignore this part completely. I'll pin a comment below when the raid comes out explaining how to get the trophy. Ok so now that that's out of the way, let's get to the overall figures. To get the Platinum in this game you're going to have to put in about 30 to 35 hours. Maybe less if you're more efficient and don't do much exploring. As for trophy difficulty, there just isn't any. It's like all the other Ubisoft open world games, you can play on the easiest difficulty, none of the trophies are missable and there's no penalty for dying. A massive chunk of the trophies will actually come naturally, there will only be a few that you'll have to go out your way to unlock. So I bet you're wondering about collectibles as this is a big game. They are in the game, but there isn't a trophy for finding them, yay! There are however things called blueprints, these are for both weapons and weapon attachments. You'll need to find 40 weapon ones and 30 attachment ones, so 70 in total. The weapon ones allow you to buy the specific weapon from the shop and the attachment ones just outright give you the attachment, no need to purchase them. I don't have a video up yet with all the blueprint locations as I want it to be a complete video and I want to wait until the raid island becomes available in case there are any on there. But again, if you're watching this in the future then it will be linked below, as are all of my individual breakpoint trophy guides by the way. Now I do have some good news and some bad news. There are multiplayer trophies in the game, that's the bad news. The good news, they're a piece of cake. I will just mention actually for anyone that doesn't know this game requires a constant internet connection. A poor decision on the part of the developers I know. But that's the reason I got invited out to San Francisco to play the game early so I can't complain. Thanks again Ubisoft. No this isn't a sponsored video just in case you were wondering. There are two types of multiplayer in Breakpoint, Co-op and PvP, or Ghost War as it's called in the game. There are two trophies for each mode. In Co-op, finish any three missions and kill an enemy shortly after a Co-op partner has. And in PvP, win a match and kill another player as each of the four base classes. Panther, Assault, Medic and Sharpshooter. I believe there will be new classes coming in the future, but they won't count. Right, so this is how I would approach the game. Firstly, concentrate on getting the story done, while keeping an eye out for blueprints and levelling a class up to level 10. Again, more information on that in the next part where I break down each trophy. Then, just go through the trophy list once the story is done and pick the trophies off that you missed. Like I said, you will unlock the vast majority of them without even trying. Then, move on to multiplayer, and you should be able to get those done in about an hour and that will be it. Like I said, Breakpoint's Platinum is very easy. If I were to put a number on it, I would probably say 3 out of 10. Ok, so that's going to be it for this first part. I'm going to switch over to my trophy list now and go through each trophy individually. Again, I'm about to show each trophy, so spoiler warning for the story ones. Ok, so here we are. As you can see, I do not have the Platinum. Nobody in the world does. It's still ultra rare, ultra rare, ultra rare at 0%. So these, these first few trophies are going to be the story ones, Act 1, Act 2, Act 3, Act 4, and then these Great Escape, 
finish, speak no evil, hear no evil, see no evil, friendly fire, point of return, and obviously kill Walker. These are all story related ones. The yellow um, mission markers, these are the story missions. You have to do these, obviously, to get to the end of the story. So these are all unmissable. The story itself will take you around 20, maybe 22, 23 hours. Um, so yeah, that's easily done. Then we have complete the optional dialogue in Era 1 about your past. As you can see, maybe, from my picture. No, you cannot. This is the PvB, PvP guy in Era 1 that you need to talk to. Just talk to him about your past. I do have a trophy about a trophy guide about it, a video. It's going to be in the description, so you can look at that. But you can do that as soon as you get to Era 1 the first time you're there. So just get it out of the way. Reach rank 10 with any class. So, there are four rank, uh, four classes. There are Sharpshooter, Panther, Assault and Medic. Obviously, you're going to find one that you prefer over the rest. For me, it was Sharpshooter, as I like to pop heads from a distance. Um, and you need to do certain things for each rank. Uh, it'll be three separate things. So, it'll be like, uh, kill five people with headshots. They're just... They're not that difficult. As long as you keep an eye on what you need to do, you should easily do at least one class by the end of the story. Um, Enter the Raid, obviously, this is the one that nobody has at the moment, but I will put a link, in, not a link in the description, I will put a pinned comment of what we need to do for that one. But as it says, just enter the raid, which presumably is just go to the island once it's open. So that's that one. Wear all high end equipment. Again, this is going to be practically unmissable. High-end equipment is the second from best, which is the purple stuff. As you can see here, it's all purple. Uh, you start getting purple or high-end equipment at about level 70 or 80. Um, again, you're going to get up there quite easily with the with the story. Uh, equip a legendary weapon. These are the yellow ones or gold ones whatever you want to call it the, the you see the one there the Zastava the Zastava I never know how to say that with the star that is a signature weapon that is from a boss that doesn't count as you can see I have tried it it's when I'm equipping this DMR that I actually get the trophy so you need a gold weapon they start at about what is that 120 there yeah about 120 level 120 so, yeah, again, you're going to get it. Don't worry about that. Um, I was not point going in that one. Might as well go in that one. Unlock four classes. So you'll get, obviously, both of the, these going for that. Um, again, you need to have Field Medic, Assault, Panther, and Sharpshooter. It costs one skill point for each one, and you get a skill point every time you level up. As you see there, at the top right, I'm level 15 with one skill point to spend. Um, that will tie in, no, it's further down, I was going to say, there isn't a trophy for getting to level 30, we'll get to that. Kill an enemy with every firearm type, that's an interesting view. So there are assault rifles, handguns, LMGs, shotguns, SMGs, snipers and DMRs, or designated marksman rifles, which are like sniper rifles but better, in my opinion, anyway. Just kill one person with each of those. You don't need to be a specific class or anything. You can equip any gun with any class. So as you pick it, just if you don't ever use shotguns, just pick up a shotgun when you get one. Equip it, kill a guy, and then just move on. Just You can get it at any time, that trophy. Upgrade a weapon to Mark Three. So when you hover over a weapon in the, uh, in the menu, you can press square and it'll bring you to this screen where you can upgrade a weapon. If you see in the middle there, you have the, the weapon upgrades. Um, to get to Mark III, you need to buy the ability to upgrade to Mark III from the skill tree, which will obviously require skill points from leveling up. Then once you're able to do that, you need to upgrade with these middle eight icons. You can, two of them are actually, or three of them are blocked at the moment, you can't see them. You need to do this three times. So, um, 24 quick maths in total you get the parts like you can see there the last part I need is an elite weapon part 
you get those from breaking down certain weapons. So elite weapon parts obviously only come from elite weapons, which are the gold ones. Standard weapon parts do become unavailable, or they did, they might have patched this out by the time you're watching this. You get those from killing drones and things like that. So if you're later on, if you're looking for standard weapon parts, that's where they, you can find them. But you should get enough from just breaking weapons down. You get that many of them that it's not going to be a problem. Upgrade weapon to... What's this one? Prolific Gunsmith. So, oh, right, so this is just do 30 upgrades, isn't it? Is it 30? 20 upgrades. God. Pay attention. 20 upgrades, so, yeah, getting a, le a weapon to level 3, mark 3, you're going to do that, so don't worry about that one. Right, here we go, reach level 30. So, you get XP from doing pretty much everything, killing people, picking up plants, everything. You're going to get to level 30 without problem, so, yeah, you're going to get there, don't worry about that. Spend 100,000 scale credits is for some reason called Wildland Millionaire. I don't understand that. Anyway, you get a lot of um, scale credits. You can get it from opening crates. You get it from enemies when they die. You just walk over them, pick their credits up everywhere. 100,000. You can see I got 134,000. This is about halfway through the game, so don't even worry about it. Just buy the most expensive thing in the shop, whatever it is. You can buy weapons, you can buy vehicles, whatever. Just spend 100,000. So, find 30 attachments and then equip one in a gunsmith. This is the blueprints for the attachments. Again, I don't have a video up for this yet. As I want to make sure I definitely have them all before calling the video all attachments in the game. Because I haven't found them all yet. There could be some on the... Um, raid island that we haven't got yet but yeah you can get this with obviously without the raid island and there are a lot more than 30 i think there are 70 something something like that so yeah you pick them up you find them in the blue crates at certain bases and you get them from um destroying the big tanks behemoths there are plenty of them you should get that no problem Unlock 10 perks in the skill menu, so this is the skill menu, sort of, you can see it there. The perks are the ones with the backpack in the bottom left corner, as you can see there, that one with the health shield, and the one I'm buying now is a perk. The rest of them that don't have it are passive, these don't count, you need to buy 10 perks. But again, level 30, you, I had so many skill points left over from crates and things like that, you don't worry about it. 50 drones, these are just the most horrible enemy, oh, drive me insane. You, drones are all through, the, the, a big part of the game, 50 drones is not going to be a problem. They're everywhere. Uh, discover 50 bivouacs, or bivvies, whatever you want to call them. These are your fast travel points, basically. You can find them by hovering over them um, in a helicopter. You can see them off in the distance, they will have a big plume of smoke coming from them. You can just fly towards them, hover over them, that will count as discovering one. You can drive past it, whatever. Or you can speak to random um, NPCs, they will have an eye above them uh, for information. Speak to them and sometimes they will tell you the lo location of a bivouac or a collectible or whatever. Um, do this 50, you'll find 50 roaming around. Pick up 20 different natural resources. I didn't even know this was a trophy when I got it. You pick up herbs just running around. You don't need to press a button. You'll just do it automatically. So as you're running around, you will pick them up. You're supposed to use them for crafting. I'm not going to lie. I never crafted a single thing. I just seem to find enough of them out in the world. Things like syringes and healing packs and whatever else. They're supposed to be for that. You, again, you'll just get this very easily. Discover 20 different provi provinces. You can do this in a helicopter. I wasn't trying to do it at this point. I was just trying to find all the blueprints. So I naturally got it. As you can see, I'm on my way to one there. The Bren is just under the trophy. Um, you can do, yeah, like I said, you can do this afterwards. But more than likely, if you're doing a bit of um, roaming around on your own, you will get this. 
the islands are broken up into provinces. I'm not sure exactly how many there are, but there are more than 20. So each time you go, you don't need to land in it or anything. You just need to fly through it, and it will say at the bottom of the screen that you've vented a new one. And again, you'll just get that. Find 20 clues in the world. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this is actually story related so the clues are the other type of collectibles I haven't mentioned yet uh, sort of documents and things like that they are in the game there's a lot of them but you don't need them for a trophy having said that there is one here for clues but you do collect more than 20 during the story and you have to figure out these little things I'm not going to go into it because it will tell you about the story but you collect certain amount of clues and then you can discover like who's done something who's responsible for this and that you'll do it during the story because you have to do it so again don't worry about that um the eight mysterious carillons the oh that's a smashing picture as you can see you can't see one here but i do have a trophy guide a video for all eight of them it'll be in the description they are bells or a bird houses as you, they are quite easy to pass they, they don't show up on your map you don't interact with them you do nothing i got the trophy as i was running past one as you can see here didn't realize thought what well, okay ran back and i actually found it retro retroactively i made the videos then but um yeah you don't interact with all you need to do is run past them so yeah that's going to be one of those trophies you're going to need to go out of your way to go and get 40 blueprints for weapons and then craft five these uh like with the attachments are out in the world in crates in bases and things like that i believe there are 60 maybe 65 in the game um, you get quite a few from bosses like there. The Silver Stake Tactical is from a boss. Um, you will find them. And again, there will be a video up once I'm 100% sure where all of them are. There's just one currently in the game I can't find. I don't know where it is. I think it's on the island. I don't know. But it's such a big game. Finding that just one is quite difficult. Killer Behemoth. These are the big tanks. I'm going to go out and say that this is story related because this one is right. This one I'm shooting here is during a story mission. You don't technically have to destroy it, I don't think, but it's just easy to do so. If you're having trouble with them, just drop the difficulty down to easy. Um, yeah, just shoot one. You, you'll be killing more than one. Kill 50 wolves. These are John Bernthal, his uh, little crew. They are everywhere. This base has about 30 wolves in it alone. Uh, you'll go to several bases that are just wolves. I mean, you're going to get this. Don't worry about that. Kill an enemy in Ghost War as a Panther, Assault, Field Medic, and Sharpshooter. This is PvP. So, you need to unlock the classes in PvE or single player first. And then I think you need to be a level 150 before you can actually go into PvP, which is weird. Um, so once you're in PvP, you can change on the fly in between each match. So just change, kill, change, kill until you've killed a single person with all four. And that's it. Just one person with each. And where's the second? Is it further down? No, let's do this one here. So this is the other one for PvP. Just win a match. You're going to get this going for um, this other trophy. Even if you're rubbish at the game, your team will carry you. It's four on four, and usually if there's one guy who will just beast mode and just kill everybody, so don't even worry about that. So we have the faction missions here for finishing eight in a single day. This is a single 24-hour real-time day. It cycles every day. I think it's about eight, nine o'clock in the morning here in in Britain, UK. Um, so presumably it's that twenty-four hour rotation. Factory missions are the green ones you get from the um, missions menu. You'll see them there. You can activate them there, 
and again they will cycle every day but there are well more than eight each day so just do they usually something very simple like go and find something here or go and kill someone or destroy something here very simple eight in a day is not hard five elite faction missions these are exactly the same these are the green ones still but they have a little skull next to them these are a bit more difficult usually a higher level of enemies these don't need to be done concurrently uh, you can't do it because there's usually only one or two a day so you're gonna need to take a couple two probably two or three days to get this one um, yeah again just finish them take your time with it whatever I've done that one finish three missions in co-op so hook up with a, anyone you can like this guy I joined with here he was just a random guy I don't know him um, he just we just did I think only two I did one separately so again doesn't need to be done in the same session can be done over spread across but yeah three three missions any three I'm doing again green ones here I'm doing uh, what am I doing I'm doing the uh, elite missions at the same time as doing that and then kill an enemy shortly after another player has this is very easily done just wait for any like we're getting there's a car pulled up here I think it was Dark Dally shot one, I shot another, got the trophy, boom. Kill 20 enemies by running them over. I mean, what more can I say? <laughs> There's a lot of enemies by the road, so that's just not going to be a problem. You'll have fun squishing them. Kill 12 enemies without getting detected. This means in one go, that's a smashing picture of that. Obviously recoil from a sniper rifle. Um... Yeah, just kill 12 in a row without getting spotted. Stealth is pretty good in this game. Um, and it's probably the best way to go when clearing bases out. Bases usually have a, obviously a lot more than 12. You can get this on the road, probably. Just randomly kill people um, and then move through. As long as they don't spot you in between, you should be fine. Spotted only counts when they... Alert goes to red, so orange and yellow is fine, but red is when you're actually detected. I kill an enemy from CQC from prone camo. So prone camo is, so you go press circle to uh, kneel down crouch, and then hold to go prone, and then you can press X on the PlayStation at least to go prone camo, and this will sort of disguise you, and an enemy has to become really close before they actually spot you, as close as this guy is here. So once they do spot you, just jump up, and then press click R3 to do a melee kill, and that's basically what this is. So you can get them to shoot, you can shoot a few bullets into the air, get their attention, um, if it's orange they will actively come and try and find you, and then do prone camo then, they'll still come and find you because they'll come to where the shots were and they, that's an easy way of doing it really kill two enemies with a single rocket rockets need to be unlocked in the skill menu and they're very handy for taking down behemoths and that so you're going to want them obviously wait for two enemies two soldiers next to each other fire a rocket at them destroy a farmer drone these are the combine harvester drones i believe they're only in one area i only found them in one area where there's a big farming area obviously um again there's a video for this it'll be in the description just go there shoot one take two seconds done kill a breacher a rocket gunner and a sniper with cqc while in stealth this doesn't need to be done all at once and probably can't be Maybe, well, it probably can. Um, a breacher is a guy is a shotgunner. Uh, a rocket gunner is obviously a rocket guy, and a sniper is a sniper. Rocket gunners and snipers will be on roofs. Breachers are on the ground. When you point at an enemy with your weapon, it will come above their head, and it will tell you what type of enemy they are. Snipers have the little um, generic sniper symbol. Rocket guys have the rocket symbol, and breachers have. Good. I think it's like an arrow. Anyway, you'll, these are the guys that rush you. You'll get to know which symbols which. Just be quiet and kill three of each, one of each. Um, obviously, breaches are easier than rocket gunners and snipers. You have to get up close, um, 
and kill them. You need to be completely stealth to do this, so they can't even know that you're there at all. But yeah, you'll get this along the way. Kill a convoy with a Singshot drone. Singshot drones need to be unlocked in the skill tree as well. This trophy is has a video for it, a separate one. Again, link below. But the trophy, if you can see on my mini-map there, the little gun symbol is the truck with the two Humvees in front and behind it. Tag the driver of the truck with a skill shot drone and then execute him. And that'll be that. That's just the trophy, basically. I'll go into more detail in the video, though. Get three shots with handguns. Very easily done in a confined space like this because the enemy AI is pretty stupid and they'll run at you in a straight line. So you can... Headshot, one, two, three, and you can see how easy, like the pile of guys, there's one, two, three on the floor, one going down, there's one behind, I think there's even two or three behind him, it's very easily done. Kill a helicopter's pilot with any weapon, obviously sniper or DMR is best for this, just shoot him, kill him, and the plane, that, another plane, the helicopter will crash and you'll get a trophy. Kill two enemies more than 200 meters away in three seconds with headshots. That's a hell of a very specific trophy. But I have a video for this, a separate video, show you where to get this, a good place to get this anyway, because it's nice and flat, so you can get 200 meters, you can get 300, 400 meters if you wish. But yeah, um, they group and spawn around this area. So two is quite easily and you can practice as well there's loads of them around there kill an enemy five seconds after landing from a base jump you'll need to unlock parachutes from skill tree it's one of the first ones once you've done that just hover over a base with your helicopter jump out parachute in wait till you it only see i only seem to get this trophy once i um did like a halo jump jumped and then didn't open until the last second landed and then shot someone, and then I got the trophy. So that's the easiest way to do that. Shoot a wasp while it's on its carrier's back. This is not gonna be a good picture, no it is not. Wasps are on drone operators. Um, they can be found in most bases. They have the four dots above the head. There is a breacher, the arrow. Yes, I thought it was an arrow. Um, four dots above them. The, you can see when you approach them or have a sniper rifle like this, you can see the drone on their back. And if they haven't noticed you, it will stay on their back, even once they're dead. Uh, if they do notice you, the wasp will leave its carrier's back straight away to come and try and find you. It's basically just a drone. So you can either kill the guy first, then shoot it while he's on the floor, or you can use a DMR sniper rifle or something like that, something powerful, to blow it up while he's still on his back. One you'll probably get um, without trying. But again, I do have a separate video. will be in the description. And that is it. We're done. So, I guess it's back to scripted me. Thanks, bumbling idiot Ben. Right, I hope this video has helped. I like to do it this way with the two contrasting styles of narration as I feel the second half is more casual, more like an actual conversation. Speaking of which, if you have questions with regards to any trophies or just about the game in general, please comment below and I'll answer them for you. Okay, this video is long enough. If you've stuck around, I'm impressed and thank you. Please help me out by doing the usual things, liking, sharing, you know the dance. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.